somebody in high school you would wear the girl would wear the a fellow's ring around her neck and that meant she's going steady with him I'm talking old school and you always had a song well I was on American Idol and I got fourth place and that was a pretty crazy experience for me because I didn't really know that I could sing until I was about 15 16 that's the first time I've ever written a song you know I teach and coach acting and Holly is my student. I didn't know she was a singer. Somebody in class said, did you know Holly was on American Idol? And she, she's incredible, you know, she's just incredible. So I didn't know that. So I said to Holly, come on in and let's go into the room and I'm gonna play you this song. And she fell in love with the song and uh, she sang it and I fell in love with her singing the song. I loved the song because the lyrics were really beautiful. When it was written, it was written so easily and so fast, and I think those are like the most beautiful songs. Then I tried it and I sent it to her and then I got a call early in the morning and she was like, oh, it was great and I love you to do it. I love old school songs. When I sing, I love to sing with, you know, like some soul. Back then, music was really, really music. Catherine did the melody and the music to the song, so it was great to sing it and be able to, you know, ask her questions and make sure that she was okay with this or that, because I didn't want to, like, ever take anything away from, you know, what is what she created. Back in the day where they would just spend ages in the studio and, and have the time to make it happen, and we don't have these luxuries and these budgets anymore, or it's just, you know, it's a different time, but we were trying to recreate that, so, you know, it was a it was a really cool experience. I really feel like it was music making. Mm -hmm. Having Ralph there was great because he was able to say, you know, well, why don't you try this or try that or maybe this will sound good. So it's always good to have different opinions. It was hard work. It took a lot of nuanced. It took a lot of remixes. It took a lot of getting an analog sound versus digital. It was a lot of things, and we got lucked out with getting a. Eric Lewis Gonzalez song who, who plays uh, horns for uh, Earth, Wind and Fire. That was a very lucky break and uh, he decided to come play on it with a, a, another friend of his and uh, it was gorgeous. He's a great, great musician, great person. Great. I love him. For me, when I heard the voice, I was like, <laughs> I was kind of like taken away to a different you know, world. The, the arrangement came out like easy because it's a beautiful song. Shine so bright, come away with me. 